Good evening all, welcome to sports. I'm Ramiko Knowles. First up in sports, the Grand Bahama Secondary Schools Athletic Association 25th Annual Senior Boys and 3rd Edition of the Senior Girls Tip-Off Basketball Classic kicks off today at the St. George's Gymnasium. Speaker of the House of Assembly, the Honorable Houtson Mutri, was on hand at Tabernacle Baptist Academy where he spoke to the student athletes in preparation for the games. Now life, in my estimation, is very similar to basketball and the fundamentals are basically the same. Like life, basketball is a team sport. And life, like basketball, is perfected by practice. 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 He also urged the athletes to be respectful as competition begins, challenging them to respect themselves, others, and the country. The issue of respect, which is your theme for this 26 uh, ceremonies and basketball classic, respect for yourself, respect for others, and respect for your country. Respect is fundamental to the advancement of the people. Now the tournament will run through next week with the girls and boys semifinals on Monday, October 29th and the championship on Tuesday, October 30th. Season opener of Grand Bahamas Darts Association is upon us. President of the association, Peter Duncan, says his goal this year is to get younger persons involved in the sport. When they get involved with dance, it's a discipline whereas we have people organizing the dance and they be able to travel. We have people, we have the, we went to Trinidad and we had one of the boys in, uh, out of the Bahamas was an international winner or the youth. So they be able to travel and meet people from all the world, you know what I'm saying? Just not, not just uh, the Caribbean, but internationally. The eight-member executive board met to discuss plans for the upcoming season. The president of the association says there seemed to be a lack of consistency with players. He says he plans to change that by introducing the Silver Club for persons aged 55 and over. We will be a non-smokers club, right? We have uh, people want to come in on a special night and just throw a couple of games of darts and they'll be able to come out for one or two hours out in the league and play darts fellowship with that people. Now the season opens tonight. Some nine teams will be competing for the next 28 weeks. All thanks to the sponsors. I just want to thank the community a lot for supporting the Dad Association. Uh, they've been real supportive through the years and we, we, we wouldn't be able to function without our sponsors. The weekend on the Reef Golf Course was a very competitive one with Terrence Bullet posting a net 72 to top the leaderboard Saturday. Aussie Gardner net 75, Kenny based in a net 76 and Pretty Lou showed up with a net 77. Sunday was a statement round for Leroy Bush right line with the three under net 69. Hanford Buckeye Bandit being a net 72. Greg Maycock a net 73. And Allison A. Stort a net 75. The Ruby Hills walkers on the links at the Fortune Hills Golf Course playing nine holes with the pro E. Marcus Hill shooting a three over par 39. Mark Nones posted a 41 with the pro giving Mark two shots to tie at 39 and secure 2.5 points each. Dr. Tunley on 45 earned the point. On the tee box, Hanford Bean still leads the tour with 71.28 points. Imarcus Hill, the pro, 60.45 points. Fenton Skillet Russell, 59.19. And Mark Knowles, 40.53. That's your check on sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Until next time, make it a great one.